Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to a bit of afternoon comedy news. It is the 30th of March, which is a Tuesday, and it's, uh, it's just gone half past two in the afternoon. GMT, let's get in to the comedy. Here we go. First up, <laughs> this is an article by The Onion that says uh, priceless NFT work vandalized with spray paint tool. And this is obviously uh, a Mickey take of uh, Bleeple's artwork that sold for uh, $69 million. Uh, I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> oh dear, honestly, uh, this, this space never fails to amuse me, never fails to amuse me. I do, I do find it very, very funny indeed. Uh, next up, I thought was quite funny was uh, oh was this one? We'll go. May as well go in uh, in order. So uh, library has recently had a uh, a spat with the uh, SEC um, and uh, lost their case. And so this is a kind of like a plea um, from shitcoiners uh, asking the SEC to uh, basically kind of like they're saying, oh, this is a dangerous ruling. It's basically going to rule all the other shitcoins out of existence. Well, yeah, because they're shitcoins. So it said here, uh, library, the SEC and the future of crypto. Help library save crypto. <laughs> well, we know that all cryptos are absolute pieces of dog shit anyway. So why would we want that? Uh, the SEC doesn't understand blockchain, says shitcoiner. <laughs> the claims made in SEC versus library would destroy the United States cryptocurrency industry because it's a shit show. <laughs> uh, what's the big deal? The entire blockchain industry is at risk in the United States. Big tech and Wall Street should have more power and uh, many people could lose their jobs. What a joke. <laughs> I mean, people are saying that Wall Street has got enough uh, power anyway. You know, they're kind of like uh, far bigger than above the law because they have the, uh, you know, the, the might and the backing of the Fed. Uh, it's outrageous. And now they're saying that they want to give Wall Street even more uh, power. I mean, can you imagine what Wall Street would, uh, would go up to? If they were given more power, as if they don't do enough damage, you know, through shitcoining effectively, short termism, you know, selfish personal gains without the consideration of uh, society and the rest of us. So it's crazy. The SEC is advancing an aggressive and disastrous new standard that would make almost all blockchain token securities because they are. Finally, it's coming. Classifying all actively developed blockchain tokens as securities will be a bureaucratic nightmare for United States residents and businesses operating in the US. Well, that's what's needed to be done because they're a shit show. Under the new standard, almost any token is a security, which is absolutely correct, including the previously safe Ethereum, which is correct. It is a shitcoin. It is a security. The nature of technology is that it is never finished. This change will make it much harder for startups to form new blockchain companies. In other words, it's going to make it harder for them to scam people, uh, cause massive job losses uh, in the uh, criminal enterprise shitcoin space, uh, and stunt the development of critical new technology Yeah, on shitcoins and shitcoin technology. What a joke. All the while, big tech and Wall Street prosper. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever. Uh, so it says, sign the petition. Uh, tell the SEC in crypto, uh, that cryptocurrency must remain illegal and free. Oh my god. How stupid can you get, honestly? Uh, try a library. If the government and big tech want, uh, want it gone, it must be good. Oh, whatever. What's this library desktop? Decentralized and open source. What a load of bollocks. It won't be decentralized at all. Again, all these buzzwords that they love throwing around there. You know, absolute shit coiners. Shit for brains. Um, this was the actual... Um, uh, securities or the US Securities and Exchange Commission uh, statement. So it said here, the SEC charges New Hampshire issuer of digital asset securities with regulation violations. Uh, securities and Exchange Commission versus Library Incorporated Civil Action. The Securities and Exchange Commission today charged Library, a blockchain company, a <laughs> shitcoin company, uh, with conducting an unregistered offering of digital asset securities. Absolutely. According to the SEC's complaint, from at least July 20, 2016 to February 2021, Library, which offers a video sharing application, sold digital assets, securities, called Library Credits, to numerous investors, including investors based in the US. 
The complaint alleges that Library did not file a registration statement for the offering and that the offering failed to satisfy any exemption from regulation. The complaint further alleges that by failing to file a registration statement, Library denied prospective investors the information required for such an offering to the public. As alleged, Library received more than an $11 million, uh, uh, they received more than uh, $11 million uh, in US dollars, Bitcoin and services from purchasers who participated in his offering. The SEC's complaint filed in the uh, Federal District Court in New Hampshire charges Library with violating the registration provisions of sections 5A and 5C of the Securities Act of 1933. The Securities and Exchange Commission seeks permanent injunctive relief, uh, disgorgement, uh, plus prejudgment, uh, interest and civil penalties. The SEC's case is being uh, handled by uh, Peter Brian Moores, Sophia Hussein, Eric Farini, Mark Jones and uh, Amy Guayzada of the uh, Boston Regional Office. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of funny. It's, well, I mean, we know this. Well, we here in Bitcoin know that these shit coins are securities, all of them. You know, and these shit coiners just don't believe it. Doesn't matter how many times you tell them. You know, the shit coiners shit for brains. What, what, uh, what can you do? And uh, another bit of funny news was this. Check out this headline. Tether now says, or well, it said, uh, Tether released uh, an assurance report that shows its stable coins are fully backed. <laughs> an assurance report, uh, I think, as in uh, um, BSV Ed just said, it's it's an opinion. It's an opinion formed. Quick take, Tether has released an assurance report delivered by uh, accounting firm Moore Cayman that shows its stable coins are fully backed. What, by dollar one to one? What, because they've laundered it and washed it through uh, BTC? What a joke. The report is dated February 28th and has an assurance opinion, again like an opinion, by Moore Cayman that Tether's uh, um, consolidated assets exceed its uh, consolidated liabilities as of that date. So remember, during the financial crisis of uh, 2008, the uh, ratings agencies uh, got away with scamming the public by saying it was their opinion. They were rating these pieces of dog shit as triple A grade uh, securities that uh, um, only because that's what uh, pension companies wanted to invest in. You know, it was absolute bollocks. And they were just like, well, if we don't give them a AAA rating, they'll just simply go to the ratings agency down the road. So basically, it was a ratings bucket shop. You know, uh, that's all this is. Oh, in our in our opinion. Yeah, they've washed it. They've washed it through BTC. It's absolutely outrageous. <laughs> like, you, you, you have to laugh, really. Three minute read. Have we got time? We're going seven minutes. Oh, let's have a quick look. Tether has released an assurance report delivered by accounting firm Moore Cayman that shows its stable coins are fully backed. The report shared with the block by Tether on Tuesday is dated February 28th and has an assurance opinion by Moore Cayman that Tether's consolidated assets exceed its consolidated liabilities as of the date. Well, I should hope it should with the amount of fraud and criminal activity that's been going on in their books. Uh, specifically, Tether's consolidated total assets amount to nearly $35.3 billion. Gah, they've made that out of core coin. Unbelievable. Uh, as of February 28th, and its consolidated total liabilities amounted to 35.2 billion. And where did they get that from exactly? Is the point I'm making. Of which 35.1 billion were related to stable coins issued. <laughs> that means Tether's reserve exceeded the amount required to redeem the stable coins issuers per the report. This is what has been pushing the price of BTC up. There is no fundamental value in that piece of shit whatsoever. And again, all these shit corners are going, oh yeah, everyone's getting in and all I'm hearing is family offices and, you know, and, uh, and, and institutional investors coming in. What a load of shit. It's Tether pumping the price up because they lost $850 million to start with and they had to get it back. And then they were like, oh, this is it. we're onto a pr pretty good thing here. We may as well just carry on and get it up to $36 billion. Shit corners don't care. You know, uh, you know, BTC is the holy grail. Can't touch that. You know, all these uh, shit coiners saying, oh, you know, we, we don't mind that because because uh, the Fed prints loads of money. So why can't Tether? Uh, I think you're missing the complete point there. You know, Tether, the Federal Reserve is uh, is authorized. And uh, and then again, you've got politicians that want to you know keep their uh, keep their respective seats. So they want to keep all these shit coiners happy. It's outrageous. Uh, to be sure, the report doesn't describe how Tether's reserves are held. A concern with which Tether's uh, critics have raised in the past. 
Tether rival centers uh, monthly um, attestation reports, for instance, mention that US dollars are held in custody accounts for its USDC stablecoin. And again, they were saying that, oh, you know, uh, Tether's backed by their, um, the bank that's uh, based in the Bahamas. What a joke. You, you're trying to tell me that there's a bank in the Bahamas um, that, that holds $36 billion. And we saw the guy being interviewed, you know, on the, with Laura Shin, like sitting in a gaming chair. I mean, what a joke. It's hilarious. You know, uh, I can't be bothered to read the rest of it. I mean, it's, uh, it's, all, it's just fun and games, really. It's quite amusing. This next bit says uh, metal coin surges 250% on licensing news. A peer-to-peer -peer payment platform, Metal Pay, has earned a money has earned a money transmitter license from the US state of Washington. <laughs> what a joke! Shit coins, shit coin platforms uh, actually getting um, uh, money transmitter licenses uh, from the US state of Washington. What a joke! Uh, in brief, peer-to-peer -peer platform MetalPay has gained a money transmitter license from the state of Washington. The startup is still awaiting the results of its application to, be, uh, uh, to become a federally chartered bank. MetalCoin, MTL, the cryptocurrency of the uh, US-based peer-to-peer payment platform MetalPay, um, saw a big spike in trading on Monday after the startup announced it had gained a money transmitter license from the US state of Washington. Metal Pay called the licensing a win. Uh, called the licensing win a big moment in a blog post announcing its success. It explained that the uh, specific regulatory challenges at play in the state of Washington had made it impossible for the platform to operate there. The platform aims to simplify sending and receiving money and offers free and instant transactions in uh, Core Coin, uh, Metal Coin, and XRP. <laughs> Uh, Metal Pay, uh, which had been uh, trading at around the uh, $2 mark, uh, rose sharply after the news, reaching over $7 and is currently trading around $6.90. Uh, but the thumbs up from Washington could also be taken as a positive signal from uh, the startup banking aspirations. In February, Metal Pay filed for a national bank charter with the office of the Comptroller of the Currency. Again, someone else who probably doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, it's not the first crypto startup to do so. Uh, Visa backed the digital asset platform Anchorage was granted the first federally chartered uh, charter by the OCC in January, paving the way for the integration of uh, crypto assets, shitcoins into the mainstream economy. Oh dear, what a disaster. What a disaster. There's never been a higher watermark than a federally chartered bank, Anchorage founder and president uh, Diogo Monica told Decrypt at the time. Crypto startups Paxos and BitPay have also submitted uh, charter applications. But MetalPay plans to go further and has submitted a first-of-its-kind application, which would ensure that its cash deposits um, were insured by the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. A decision is expected within three months. Ooh. ooh. Well, I mean, they, they might come to the centers in three months. I mean, it's a joke. A successful outcome would take the five-year-old startup beyond its former heyday in September 2018, when Metal Pay was worth over, uh, for, or maybe is that Metal Coin, worth over $14. And Metal Pay has picked uh, an impressive sounding name for its venture, the first blockchain bank and trust NA. <laughs> Oh dear, honestly, when, when, you, when you really have a fundamental understanding of this stuff and you realise how ridiculous it all is, like honestly, I can't help but just laugh. Uh, what else are you going to do? You know, it's hilarious. Right, that'll do for a bit of afternoon comedy news. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later for the main show live at five. Catch you then. Get paid for posting your pics on Relica. Download the app now at www getrelica.com Get your tweet etched on Twitch forever on the Bitcoin blockchain. Do it today at www.jointwitch.com Buy bsv.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online. Support independent content creators on micropayment platforms such as Streamality, Twitch and Relica. We should profit from our data, not the large corporations who track, monitor and sell it. 
If you enjoy the Bitcoin content that I produce, please support me by heading over to www.satoshi.tv where you can keep up to date with all the latest news, gossip and content as it's created. Thanks very much. To get started in Bitcoin, go to freebsv.com where you can claim your free Bitcoin. Then head over to Twitter and follow at IamZatoshi where you can take part in his very generous and world famous free giveaways. The future of advertising meets the power of Bitcoin at Tonic Pow. Get paid for posting advertising campaigns to your social media profiles. Go to www.tonicpowads.com.